Hey everyone, I'm Jake, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to connect your TP-Link CASA smart home devices with Google Home. If you haven't already set up your devices within the CASA app, check out the description below where I'll link a video showing you how. With that said, start by opening the CASA app to make sure that all of the devices you want Google to recognize are already set up. Right now I have four smart bulbs and two smart plugs already configured. If we check out the scenes tab, you can see that I don't currently have any scenes created though. So all we'll be linking with Google for now are those six devices. Once you're happy with that, jump over to the Google Home app. Here you can see I have a few rooms set up with Google Home mini speakers, but no lights yet. So to link the smart bulbs and plugs from the CASA app, just click on the add button that looks like a little plus sign. Select set up device. Here Google gives you the option to either set up device from scratch or set up devices that work with Google. We want the works with Google option. Now we're prompted to connect Google Home with a known device manager. In our case, that's the CASA app. So type in CASA, then click on TP-Link CASA when it populates. At this point, you'll be redirected to the TP-Link login screen where you'll have to sign into your account in order to grant Google access to your devices. So just fill in your username and password here then click on the Authorize button. Once completed, we can see that there are four lights and two plugs from the CASA app that were identified. Now you want to let the Google Assistant know where each of those devices is located by clicking on each one individually and then selecting which home and room that it's located in. Repeat this for all the devices that you're currently importing so that Google can locate them properly. If you don't already have rooms set up like I do, this is the time when you can select one of the standard rooms that Google suggests or create your own name for a room. Once all the devices have been assigned a room, you'll be returned to the start screen for Google Home. Now we can see that both the living room and studio have lights present. And by clicking in on each room, we find that there are now buttons for each light individually, as well as grouped together for the whole room. The last thing I wanna point out is that on the start page, there are two new buttons at the top shaped like little light bulbs because Google now recognizes that you have lights within your house. By clicking on them, you'll have the option to either turn on or turn off all of the lights within your home or within a specific room of your home all at once. If this video is helpful in any way, please let me know in the comments below and by clicking on the like button. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already and check out my channel for more videos like this as well as some product reviews. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.